today we're gonna to be talking about which is better, vegan leather or real leather. Vegan leather is simply imitation leather. However, a lot of people assume that when something is vegan or when a product is vegan, that it will synonymously be sustainable. However, this isn't always the case. There's several different sources of vegan leather. For example, PVC, PU leather, pineapple leather, leather made from apple husks and cores that are byproduct of the apple juice industry, natural materials such as cork and hemp, these can also be mixed with waste oil, such as coconut oil and vegetable oil. A fashion industry favorite is mushroom leather, most favored by famous designer Stella McCartney, and symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Can't believe I got that right. <laughs> Which is otherwise known as SCOBY. So despite having a really large range of sources, not all of these different variations of vegan leather are actually helpful or beneficial to the environment. PU leather and PVC are actually just plastic and a lot of them are coated in oil-based substances which are rich in toxins. Vegan leathers made from things like apple husks, pineapple and mushroom are actually considered to be more sustainable for the environment because they naturally biodegrade. So which is better, vegan leather or real leather? A lot of people choose vegan leather because they don't agree with the harming of animals that's associated with the leather tannery process. However, purchasing vegan leather can actually prove more harmful to the environment than if you were to buy real leather. Real leather, such as cowhide, takes around 25 to 50 years to fully decompose. However, vegan leather, such as PU and PVC, which is what exists most prevalently in the fashion industry, will actually never fully degrade or biodegrade. This doesn't make real cowhide leather a perfect substitute for vegan leather either. The leather tannery industry is actually one of the biggest contributors to water pollution in the world. There's literally villages in China where people grow like extra eyes and arms, it's insane. Part of what makes a sustainable wardrobe is really caring and looking after your clothes. And part of that is being able to repair your clothes. It's really easy to repair leather goods. However, it's not as easy or accessible to repair vegan leather. Because vegan leather, such as PU and PVC, really tend to not be as durable as real leather, this means that consumers can end up having to buy multiples as replacements when their original product starts to break down, whereas you could maybe just buy one real leather product and have it repaired. So when it comes to vegan leather versus real leather, it can be really confusing to figure out which is the more sustainable product. There are many vegan alternatives and the natural ones are amazing like apple, pineapple and mushroom. However, the price points aren't really accessible for a lot of consumers, meaning most people that buy vegan leather are buying plastic. However, buying real new leather isn't the most sustainable option either. So now you're probably wondering, what do I do? Which product do I buy? I don't know. <laughs> So if you have the ability to be able to invest in natural vegan leathers such as apple, pineapple, mushroom or natural oils, I highly suggest that you do that as they're natural and they will biodegrade. Another great alternative or great option is to buy vintage and secondhand leather and to really look after your garments, take care of them and repair them.